Here, we're looking at how to play the riff leading into the verse in this classic track from Guns N' Roses. Remember, they were tuned to E-flat, but we're staying in standard tuning for convenience. Start with an A5 power chord on the open 5th string and the 2nd frets on the 3rd and 4th string. 3rd fret 6th string with a slight bend. Open 5th string. Then play the top 2 notes of the power chord. And again, this time with the strings muted. Then play 3rd fret 6th string. 2nd fret. And finish on the open string. Picking wise, we're using alternate picking. So that's down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. This picking pattern really contributes to the overall feel, so it's best to stick to this pattern. If you're feeling confident, then why not try the small variations on the riff? The first comes between the opening chord and the third fret G note. Just add a couple of muted strums in there. These are part of the rhythm and groove rather than essential notes. You'll also hear the second power chord is played more abruptly on the repeats. Once again, this is just about feel. It's a detail you only really need to worry about if you're dead set on a 100% authentic reproduction of the riff. We'll finish off with a look at Slash's lead line that runs into the verse. Play a bend on the 3rd string from 7th fret to 9th and back down to 7th again. It's played with a pinched harmonic, but it's worth practicing that technique on its own. Move on to play 5th fret, 7th fret 4th string, 7th fret and 5th fret on the 3rd string, 7th and 5th on the 4th string, then run down the 5th string from 7th, 6th, 5th, then slide to 3rd, 5th again, 3rd, then pull off from 5th to 3rd on the 6th string. Apart from the slide and the pull off, every note is picked, so use alternate picking. Here's the whole thing played slowly, then up to speed over the backing. Mm -hmm. 